Okay, Elaine Chow. First thing I want to look at, um, she had told over a year ago the Office of Government Ethics that she would be divesting her shares and resigning from the board for Vulcan Materials. Vulcan Materials is an asphalt company, along with many other things, but they um, uh, do a lot of road pavings and things. They have interests in the transportation department and contracts that can be awarded. And Elaine is um, head of the Transport Secretary of Transportation. So she said that uh, she would cash out all her shares. Well, what she did was she got stock options on her shares, which is like giving shares for shares. It's, it's crazy. It's like, no, she didn't cash out. She still got her stock. Um, so she still has a vested interest. But um, part of the Transportation Department, of course, is spinning, and Government Ethics Board is uh, spinning it under Trump that it's not a conflict of interest, which is bull malarkey. Um, you're head of transportation department for the U.S. and you've got stock in an asphalt company that could gain millions, if not billions, uh, from getting contracts for road repairs and all types of things that they do asphalt with. Um, let's see if it's going to catch up with her. Is Congress or anybody going to get involved in this. Good news on the bottom of the deck or is it a naivete? Um, let's see. interesting she's showing up as just trying to confuse everybody um, deception deception uh, at the root of this this was her plan all along she had no intention of getting rid of those shares um, in fact in the past protecting her shares protecting her shares protecting her interests in this company um, covering her her challenge is all the fighting about it all the bickering and fighting about it, um, crowning the reading, adding to her family wealth, making lots of money, lots of money, um, and even here her connection with the Republican Party, um, so the Republican Party's connections with her. We're going to take a d deeper dive into that. Um, she's put in defense mode. She's out in the cold, um, not able to get to her money. She's going to be put in defense mode. Justice coming down. So um, there's money news. Yeah, there's news coming out. So, uh, I feel paperwork involved and money news involved. They're they're going to be tracking down. Um, yeah, investors investigators are going to research the uh, the money. Um, this feels like you know this is also a card of waiting for waiting for the harvest. So I feel like this is going to take a little bit of time. So it doesn't feel like it's going to happen right away, um, but will happen in the future. So let's just see. Wayne Chow, Mitch McConnell, bringing the Russian oligarchs into Kentucky. Wayne Chow, what are you doing that's corrupt with China? Your dad... Big businessman came from China. Now owns shipping businesses while his daughter is the head of transportation. What are you doing for China, Elaine? I I just feel like I, I, I just heard like 
no loyalty to America, um, that she's trying to help Chinese business people. Um, I've actually met her dad years ago working in retail when they, his company was um, going like gangbusters and the, they were doing uh, outdoor patio furniture, they were doing um, gas grills and things like that, um, fire pits, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I was working on product like that at one time in retail. So I've actually met her dad years and years ago. And then he branched out and got into shipping and all kinds of other things. So Elaine Chow, what's your connection with China? Is there corruption going on? that's my Putin card so interesting she put in Russia over China we'll see she's helping uh, Putin with the shipping business she just talk 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 talks to people and with Putin on the bottom of the deck, Shadow uh, looks like uh, she is communicating. Her challenge is illumination, getting ready to hit her. Um, bringing things out in the bright light of the sun. Yeah, so at the root of this, you know, watching the money, watching, waiting for the money. Um, in the past, um, decisions that she had to make, uh, I was just laying some clarifiers on this, decisions she had to make, um, quite burdensome, uh, treachery and deceit involved, lies involved, and negotiations that she was involved in. Uh, crowning the reading, she's a mercenary. She's another mercenary bringing uh, illegal money in. Um, she's going to get stabbed in the back. Somebody's going to stab her in the back. Um, she's sitting pretty financially, so she has gained money off of it, but somebody's going to stab her in the back over it. Somebody's seeking answers um, about her and charging in with an investigation. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. Yeah, again, like two news cards here together, the, the messenger paperwork, uh, the moneyed news, putting an end to this, putting an end to this. So um, someone is going to open up an investigation, try to put an end to this. Again, emotions are going to run high on this. We'll be celebrating, but emotions are going to run high on this because she's like this winning-at-all-cost mentality. She doesn't care what little man she stomps on. You know, she wants to make her money. Um, so, is she helping Chinese businessmen? Yes. She had agreements with them in the past. She tried to cover it up. Lies and deception. Um, and it's been burdensome, but yes, she made agreements. She's a, she's an emissary, but it feels like not just for China, but with Russia too. Seeing Putin on the bottom there. So. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, I wish I lived in uh, Kentucky right now. I would be like number one campaigner against Mitch McConnell, who's up for re-election in 2020. Let's just take a quick look if he'll even make it to the uh, election. Yeah, it keeps standing out in my head. I keep hearing from spirit. Nancy Pelosi saying, 
um, that they were going to investigate obstruction of justice when the new Congress started in January, and she said, including if any members of Congress obstructed justice. And that was a direct slam, I felt, on Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, and those elk, but especially Mitch McConnell, who has blocked votes and done all kinds of blocking. And um, I just want to see, Mitch, are you going to make it to 2020? Will you be out before then? It's going to happen to you. Ooh, all his money, all his family money, all his wealth, all his support financially, Cook Brothers and all that, all his backings. interesting you know, he's waiting on the election and waiting for votes and stuff but he's also waiting for money um his challenge is he's like a spy he's like a russian spy um at the root of this is money money he's taken money he's already taken um he's trying to hang on to his position um but again he's another emissary for dark money um you know living the life of luxury and financial independence um but it involves money laundering um it looks like there's strong evidence on this that's going to come out secrets coming out um and connecting him also with the white house and some of their schemes dirty tricks dirty tricks yeah um trying to control the emotions um Working, working hard to control emotions in the U.S. Um, yeah, he's going to be embattled for the election, um, if not before then. He's going he's gonna to be a hung man. I don't think he'll even run. Um, he's going to be embattled uh, because of his connection with Trump and the oligarchs. Um, he's going to be a hung man. I don't think he'll even run. He's, yeah, he's going to be put in defense mode. Um, it's an uphill battle. So he might be running right now. Yeah, he's going to pack his bags and go. I just laid one more clarifier. He's going to pack his bags and go before the election. So, I'll stop there on the McConnells. Turtle man, turtle woman. Uh, I, just want, I want to look at... Um, yeah, we have all this stuff about pedophiles and sex trafficking and stuff that's just on the surface that investigations starting to get done on I, I want to take one quick look it's Elaine Chow or Mitch McConnell involved in sex trafficking are they just aware of it's going on or are they actually involved Regrets and loss.
When I, when I get aces in readings, it's like uh, yeses for me. Um, and that's what I'm getting here. Um, you know, this is the mother card, the empress, um, giving birth, giving birth, um, children, um, and all their cover-ups, all their gaslighting about it, all their, you know, trying to hide it, put it behind a smoke screen. But at the root of this, it looks like someone's already investigating. Uh, investigating um, you know, people in the GOP and also you know happy families happy homes that have been busted up um, this is this is a new beginning um, crowning the reading so it feels like it's going on now that there's an investigation going on now uh, in, involves world trafficking global trafficking um, just, just foolish, stupid, um, betrayal to these children, betrayals to the families, all for money, all for greed and money. We're going to hear about it, sort of truth. We're going to hear about it. Yeah, victory too. Victory too. Yeah, it feels like it feels like um, you know they've been planning this for a long time. Victory at all costs, like you know, take the kids, take them away from their mothers, um, and and send them overseas from America. Send them overseas, um, getting them out of the country. I I, I feel like Mitch McConnell's going to end up in jail. I really do. Um, it feels like he's going to get slammed with indictments. Let me just go to my pendulum to confirm. Is Mitch McConnell in draw involved in sex trafficking? That's a yes. Please vote him out in Kentucky. Or please, let's bring the angels, let's bring this to light and get him out before he can even uh, run in the election. Let's get him. Let's get him out now. Okay, a little dark to look at, but thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.